Hello. Uh, just got a quick guide thing for you here today. Uh, so, very tragically, my attempts to summon Leith have been met with uh, bad RNG, or I guess average RNG if we're being uh, not cope. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty much out of summon, so I haven't been able to get her. However, I would still like to, you know, farm the side story, so I had to make a team. Fortunately, uh, it's a lot easier to, uh, you know, beat this stage than the previous one. It's a lot quicker, uh, so Smalga improved on that, uh, even if you don't have uh, the imprint character. Uh, so what I've been using is this right here. Oh, just one quick thing I forgot to mention while recording this before I get into it. Uh, I did auto the uh, final stage uh, with this team, and it seemed pretty safe. Granted, uh, you can't go in and do it again, so I can't exactly show that to you, but it did work for that. Anyways, uh, with Dien as the uh, lead character that goes to both rounds, uh, because she just has a pretty strong kit for the boss, right? She has her attack buff, she has uh, the cleanse and the push and the barrier. Uh, so with her on your team, uh, you you just essentially cannot die, right? Um, but the way the rounds work, right, is in the first round, uh, he say, well, S through the add, and then, wait, I'm, I'm explaining this like a fucking comp check. I'll just show you how it runs and click through the builds here. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Dien's on this build here. Ideally, you'd want her on uh, 200 ER, and but it doesn't really matter. Like, uh, if she gets pushed back by the boss, like, it, it, it doesn't really change much in terms of the run. Uh, and then, so she's just there to be fast and give buffs. I'm pretty sure you can get away with a lot more scuff stats on her, and it'll function perfectly fine. Uh, the same goes for a lot of these builds. Like, uh, you do want a pretty fast Kisei. I think you could also use Ludwig or, you know, any other nuker that uh, does a lot of damage to the add. Uh, but you don't want to rely on stripping the death buff necessarily. So uh, something that like takes two turns is very good. Um, but yeah, uh, you can definitely get away with a little bit slower and definitely less damage than this and it'll function fine. Uh, but yeah, she's on that build. Rimuru is on a full damage build as well, and he's also holding the uh, artifact for the currency, which I had to powder because I haven't pulled any. I haven't pulled any five star artifacts yet, which is kind of crazy. But that's aside from the point. Uh, full damage, Rimuru. Uh, he's good here because uh, the add has a speed buff, so when it attacks, uh, the Rimuru will S2 it. Uh, so between his S. Uh, 2 and S3, uh, he does the majority of the damage to that. Well, not the majority, but a lot of damage to the add. Um, which is to allow LQC to use her S3 on the boss. Uh, now, this is my RTA build. I haven't changed any builds for this. This is just using stuff I already had. Uh, so if you want to run an LQC that's just on a full tactical nuke build with no bulk, uh, no... Okay, ER is basically a dead stat most of the time anyways. Uh, you are welcome to do so though, uh, you know, just like 4.5k attack, 350 crit damage, and you will have some zooming runs most likely. And then Hellcutter, just because, you know, generally there's like 10 or so turns taken before she takes her turn, so Hellcutter is very good. Uh, now, the round one is definitely the faster of the two rounds. Uh, the round two is just like some evasion and bruiser stuff, uh, so you can, like, this round is very uh, changeable. Though to be fair, Alencia and Aiden are both very strong and there's no reason to really change either of them. Like you can switch the Violet out for whatever you want. Like I could put in probably Green Sleen would probably be good. Uh, just any single target nuker, right? Uh, Violet's just nice though because he has uh, the focus and that counts as an extra attack for uh, disabling the boss's, you know, transforming verification of things mechanic uh but yeah a a anything really works here instead of the rylet but aiden's really nice because uh she has the cycling season thing uh which gives a lot of uh damage bonuses versus dark units and she also has some you know dark damage stuff here i think probably or is it just on the s3 that's uh, just on the s3 uh that is fine 
uh, yeah. But cycling seasons is more than enough reason uh, to use her. And also, she just does a lot of damage, right? Uh, you don't need her on lifesteal, though. This is just the build I like running. Like a destruction build or even a speed set build with high damage uh, will also function here. Uh, now, the Alencia is on. Oh. Yeah, I don't need to click like that. Uh, the Alencia is on uh, this build right here, just a speed build that I've been using because I switched my injury gear to elsewhere. Uh, I play her with skills on just so the boss. Uh, just to potentially strip the death buff off of the add. Uh, but you can also play your skill off to uh, guarantee hits into the boss, like the extra attacks, uh, which is what she's good for uh, with her consistent S1. Um, but obviously, lower damage is fine, lower bulk is fine. You know, if you don't have the gear, that's fine. It should function normally. Uh, obviously, like, I, I, I'm just saying this and I don't know if lower gear functions as well, but it's like these runs aren't even close, right? So I'm assuming it's fine. And then this is the Rylet. Now, I, on them, higher damage would make runs quicker, but I mean, this is just his build, right? Uh, not going to change it for a team that's functioning perfectly. But anyways, with my long convoluted uh, run through of all the units, uh, let's look at a run here. Oh shit. <laughs> Wait, uh, one second. Okay, I have transmitted some things. Uh, let's just look at how this goes. So, uh, how it normally plays out is ideally the DN doesn't get pushed back, but the Kisei does, so that you can get the attack buff up beforehand. But if it doesn't happen, it still kills with my damage values. Um, and then Rimuru can S3 the add to do his massive fixed damage and nuke. Uh, with this specific uh, setup, when it does happen like this, where the Kisei gets pushed back and the end can get the attack buff, uh, Rimuru doesn't actually need the uh, S2 generally because my Kisei is very high damage and the add dies. Uh, so this is what like an ideal uh, run looks like. Uh, but even if you don't kill uh, the add with the Kisei S2, it will S1 and Rimuru will be able to uh, counter it. Uh, but this takes care of the boss fairly quickly here. Um, surely should die in just one S1. Uh, Dan using S3 here is totally normal and don't worry about it too much. And yeah, that is pretty quick there. And now the round two is obviously a bit slower. There's certainly Probably a better team, but with what I've got, uh, this just works completely fine. So Aiden you know, nukes this. Uh, Alencia ideally strips it, but it still wins. Even if it doesn't strip it, it just takes longer. Ooh, we get an unideal scenario example. Goddamn. Yeah, Rylet's still gonna nuke it because he's got the 50% pen on his S3. Uh, generally dies before it gets to the other turn. Uh, there's my 97% crit at play. It should die to the Rylet S1. No, to the Alencia S1. Okay, and then boss is now in its death broken stage. Uh, one thing that can happen here is that Alencia gets unbuffable by the boss, and then Rylet gets hit a bunch so that he doesn't get his uh, extra attack thing, and then the boss's uh, thing up there doesn't get dispelled. But even if that does happen, like, it, it still wins. Uh, but yeah. Alencia S3 is because it's off cooldown, but it doesn't really matter. And then Rylet does this. And that is what a standard run of this team works. It. It's like a bit under 3 minutes it looks like. Uh, which I think is pretty good if you're having no damage increase imprints. Um, obviously run times can vary, but you know. Like two and a half to three minutes is pretty average for this. And 
Uh, that's about it, I think. Um, but if you have the Leaf and her imprints, uh, there's definitely like way, way, way faster teams that just one tap both phases. But I mean, you only have so many leaves, right? So it, it doesn't really matter. Not really. Uh, anyways, hopefully if you are in a similar scenario to me, this helped you out. Granted, it is two limited units and two ML5s in the team I'm using, so uh, maybe not the most helpful for everybody, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I shall see you soon.